Here we have the sum from m equals 2 to some arbitrary number n of 1 over m minus 1 times m. This could be a complicated problem to evaluate. Let's see if we can simplify it using the rules of notation. We'll start by considering the sum and. We can modify the sum and. We've got uh, 1 over m minus 1 times m. We can subtract m and add m to the numerator. A little bracket around there. And rearrange that. So we'll have m. Let's make that minus. So we've got a minus there. So we need to swap the 1 and the m there. So it'll be m minus 1 over m minus 1 times m. What we can do now is to uh, disaggregate that. So we'll have m over m minus 1 times m minus m minus 1 over m minus 1 times m. We can see our m's cancel out there and the m minus 1's cancel out there. So now we're left with 1 over m minus 1 minus 1 over m. Let's put that back into our original problem. What we can do now is to split up our sum and there into two parts. Let's write out these two summations more fully. The first one is equal to, well, if m equals 2, we have 1 over 2 minus 1, so it'll be 1. If m equals 3, we'll have 1 over 3 minus 1, it'll be 1 over 2, and so on. Plus, and we'll have 1 over n minus 1. It's the first summation there. Minus, well, 1 over uh, m when m equals 2, we will a half, so let's put that there, uh, and then the next term will be a third plus when m equals n minus 1, we'll have m minus 1, and then the last term will be 1 over n. What we can see is because we have this uh, minus sign there, that these terms cancel out. What we have left then is 1 minus 1 over n, which is a much simpler problem than our original summation up here.